A new coalition called Fair Work Week NJ held a news conference in Teaneck made up of liberal advocacy groups and labor unions. Their issue is that low-wage workers are being taken advantage of by unfair scheduling on the part of management. Workers in low-wage hourly jobs in the warehouse, retail, hospitality, and fast food industries are facing unpredictable work hours and fluctuating income. These practices hinder low-wage workers and their families. They say their bosses are using sophisticated algorithms to determine how many workers are needed at a given time while the worker sits at home on call. And in many times, they're often called in or sent home at a moment's notice. And they're expected to be available at any time when their worksite is operating. Though, even though they're expected to be on call, uh, they can't get enough hours to survive. One after another, female employees told their stories. Donna Fodiadis worked at Walmart in Manville. During my time at Walmart, I really had no life. The erratic scheduling, I couldn't plan anything. Frequently, they would change my schedule an hour before they wanted me there without telling me. So I would either have to try and reschedule, cancel things, or end up with a no-call, no-show. I missed my nephew, my great nephew's christening because they scheduled me a half an hour before they wanted me there. Senator Loretta Weinberg plans to introduce a bill that would address the problem. Back-to-back -back long shifts one week might be followed by no shifts the next week. And the uncertainty has a high cost. We can hear about it. It affects the very quality of life of people who are working hard to provide for themselves and their families. A professor at Berkeley in California issued a report on the subject today that got written about in today's New York Times. It says unfair scheduling can unsettle an entire family. One in 10 American children has a parent who works in retail or food service. For these kids, instability in their parents' schedules shows up directly in their own lives. Imagine trying to arrange for childcare when you don't know when you'll work or how many hours. A family doctor echoed that. I'm trained as a family medicine physician, and in even just hearing the stories today, the overwhelming theme that you hear is anxiety. There's stress that's being produced for no apparent reason. Stress that's put on that then ends up coming home with you to your families. The coalition says the problem especially affects women of color, and it says other jurisdictions like New York and San Francisco have passed ordinances that impose certain requirements. They await Senator Weinberg's bill. This uh, piece of legislation, which is almost ready for introduction, correct, uh, will mandate the length of time and issues around fair scheduling. Several speakers noted that it was the union movement that secured the eight-hour workday ages ago. What they want today is predictable and stable work schedules. In Teaneck, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.